Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5065426 because of these error codes. So if you're receiving these errors, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run SFC and DISM command. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan, this will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete, then you run the second scan. So copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Now once the second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can try to update. Still not working, next step is to start these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart. Now find Windows update. Here you can see Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set, set this to automatic, click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Again, set this to automatic. Apply, click on start and then click on OK. And with this select, selected, again, make a right click, click on restart. Now try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So you can go to Windows update in Windows settings and then over here you can see pause option, hit pause. This process may take some time and once the pause is complete, resume updates and then you can check if you see retry option, retry and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5065426 over here. And then click on search. And now over here, uh, first of all, check which version of Windows you have. So type in WINVER -E -E in Windows search box and then cl click on WINVER. So in my case, it's version 24H2 and you can check what kind of system you have. So system and then about and over here you will see in my case it's x64. Now for me it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system. This is the right one for me. If you have Windows uh, 11 version 25H2 then here you can see Windows 11 version 25H2 as x64. So you can select the update as per your system and as per your version. And then it, over here, click on KB5065426. And once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. Once the download is complete, click on it and just follow the on-screen instruction and then install it manually and then restart your computer. Once it is installed, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update option. You can open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, go to uh, Advanced option over here and then go to recovery option and here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will again take some time and once this is complete now you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see media creation tool so click on download now and then you can run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see this screen click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next again click on next over here now you have to select iso file by default, it may be USB flash drive. You have to select ISO file and then click on next. You can save it to desktop. Now let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once done, click on finish over here. Once you finish, let this close automatically. And then you can go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then you will see setup file, make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow. And then click on next over here and then click on accept. 
and over here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then try to update your windows 11. so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel